This video is an introduction into the Partmaster CAD system. So from the desktop, I've double clicked the Partmaster DCAD icon and then I get this uh, start screen. So if we just go through these options, continue with the last drawing is open that the last drawing you worked on. Start a new drawing is exactly that. Open an existing drawing file open an existing DXF file or open an existing IGES drawing. So what we'll do is we'll start off a new drawing. The way the CAD system is laid out is we see a blank sheet of paper in front of us and there are various toolbars on the screen. To set up the preferences and the defaults that we want to use we go to view defaults. So this sets up the default units that we want to use, the defaults for the paper size as well. So uh, unlike some CAD systems we draw on a fixed piece of paper but this can always be altered if we're drawing things which exceed the paper sizes. So this gives us the basic um, defaults for when we create a new drawing and whenever we set any of these options here these become the defaults for each drawing that we create so that's drawing defaults if we go back to view we have drawing properties so these are the properties of this particular drawing so the default units might be millimeters but on this drawing i may want to work in inches and that's the properties for this particular drawing there are lots of other um, things that we can use here and you can go through each one of those but this is where the drawing properties are set for this particular drawing if we go back to view we have another option here which is preferences and these are the preferences that are set up when you are creating a drawing so these are things like where the folders are being stored, where your drawings are stored, where your templates are stored and so on. This is your username and then under the options you can look at these options and go through each one and choose them. In most cases the preferences can stay as the defaults that are already set. But to set anything like that, you go into view and then choose either defaults, preferences and properties. The way the screen is laid out is that along the top we have the main menu. So this is where we can choose all of the options and uh, manage the drawing and do virtually everything. Below that is the global operations toolbar where we can open save print drawings this is where we handle the zoom functions and we have various galleries here so if we want to set up text styles we can do it from here if we want to manage our layers we can do it from here and so on these are global operations the next toolbar down is the drawing operations so these are the options that we'd use when we're creating a drawing for instance lines circles dimensions and so on so what happens is when we choose something from the drawing operations toolbar here there's another toolbar which opens vertically on the left hand side which is the options for that particular operation so if I go into circle for instance then we have different options of how we draw a circle. For each one of those vertical options toolbars the very last entry is properties which gives us the properties of the particular item. In this case it's the radius or the diameter of a circle. If it was a line it could be the angle of a line. If it was a fillet it would be the size of the fillet. So depending on the operation that you choose the vertical toolbar will have more or less options for that particular operation. At the bottom of the screen we have some further toolbars. This one here are the snap modes. So 
we choose the snap modes that we want when we're placing one item onto a drawing relative to an existing item. So no snap means that the drawing element is placed where the cursor is. And then we have near snap to snap onto an existing endpoint or the center of a circle, for instance, perpendicular snap, grid, midpoint, quadrant, center and intersection. There will be other videos which go into depth about these things, but this is just the CAD introduction video. This box here allows us to type in the XY coordinates of uh, a particular element. It could be the two corners of a box, for instance, or it could be the center of a circle. So this is where we type in the values. So if we want to start a new drawing, we go to here and under new, you see a down arrow. So we can either start a new blank drawing or we can start a drawing from a template. A template is basically a drawing which has various things set up and it could have a drawing border, title block, etc, etc. So the templates can be useful if you uh, like to use them. You can set your own templates up, of course, and within templates, then you can set many layers. So that's the end to this brief introduction to the CAD system.